Hi right, guys, welcome back to the next episode of my discussion. Today we're doing um we're looking at Shazam through the gods. Now I have to do I have to do this again because um I missed some points from my last video and I just I was gonna download and re-edit it and I was just like and edit it and I was kinda like let me just do let me just do it again. And so yeah. So I forgot to talk about the cast and so much stuff. So let's get into um let's get into this. This is the twelfth movie in the DC Extended Universe, and this was directed by David of Sandberg, written by David Hayden, Chris Morgan, the stars Zachary Levi, Asha Angel, Jack Dylan Grazer, Rachel Zegler, Anna Brody, Ross Butler, Megan Good, Lucy Liu, the Jimmy Hansen, and Helen Mirren in the film. Um, in the film, Billy Batson and his foster siblings fight the daughters of Atlas. So, um, yeah. Um, so, let's just get into it. So, um... Let me quickly do the non-spoiler review now. I think I think the visuals are good. I think the score is good. This was by Christopher Beck, who was um, Benjamin Wolfish did the first one, but he he did the Flash instead, which I'm kind of happy. I'm I, I mean I'm I'm fine with Christopher. Um, um, Christopher Beck, he did the Ant Man movies. He's done other stuff. So, um, so Shazam. I thought his score was good. I wish they kind of brought back the original one, but it's fine. I thought all the cast was good. Um. I love some of the action visuals. Some of it was good, some of it wasn't. Um, I love the villains. Um, they actually gave them a purpose. They weren't throwaway villains. And overall, I thought it was great. I thought it was emotional. I thought it had a good message behind it. I loved the. Uh, I thought Zachary Levi, Helen Mirren, and Lucy Liu, the Jim and Han Su, and Jack Dungrays. I thought they were the um, the standouts of this movie. And yeah, um, I wish we see Shazam again. I don't know because this movie's not doing well. It's only made sixty-five million worldwide. So I mean, the budget was hundred million. So maybe it could make. I don't know if it'll make three hundred. I don't. It, it needs three hundred to break even. But um, so yeah, um, I hope it does well. But I mean, if Jack Ruby really doesn't come back, I wouldn't mind if they get. I would want Anna Rich soon because I think he's he will be so much better at Shazam. But um. Look, I don't. I think the reason it stays because it was produced by Peter Safran, and he's the CEO of DC Studios. So, I think, um, I think there's a chance. He said David F. Sandberg recently said he's done with superhero films, which I think the next time we see Shazam is maybe Peacemaker season two, because I'm not going to get into the spoilers. But I think that's the next time we see him. But I don't know if it's just Shazam. if Shazam three happens, I, I they can get rid of the Rock. I don't want him to go. He wasn't even good as Black Adam, as Black Adam anyway. So I'd rather they just just get Vin Diesel. That'd be a big F you to the Rock, but um, I don't really care. Other than Vin Diesel, I don't really know, know who'll play um, Black Adam. But let's just let's just quick let's just get into the spoilers now. Now, um, so several years after uh, they defeat that so Savannah, um, they they have their powers. Um, they live in. The, they spend time in the Rock of Eternity. They fix the bridge that collapsed. That's the beginning of the movie. And uh, Lotta Lostin, who plays, uh, who's um, David Sandberg's wife in real life, he played another character in the first one. This is a different character because she died in the first one. Um, basically, basically, uh, they just want to do their own thing. And um, Billy's the only one that still wants to be, but but still just doesn't know what he wants to do or. And so, yeah, then we see the Daughters of Atlas in the beginning of the film. They break into a museum and then they steal the staff. Um, I was broken in the first one. Then they pretty much um, they pretty much kill everyone in the museum. They turn them into sand. And that's Lucy Lou, Heron, and Mirren. And then basically, um, they, you see the wizard who died in the first one. He was also in Black Adam as well. So he comes back to life. Um, so he survives. And... They basically force him to fix the staff, and which they do, they he does, and then so basically, um, Freddie meets and which actually knows Anthea, and then basically she finds out he finds out that she's part of the sisters of Daughters of Atlas, and and yeah, that's pretty much it. They kidnap Freddie, and Freddie's pretty much he has scenes with the wizard. And they have to try and get Freddie back. I like the whole thing they did with Steve. The pen, I thought it was kind of funny. And then the, the letter, I thought it was funny. When Helen Mirren was reading it out. Um, so, yeah. So then they build this giant dome. And then, basically... Um, 
they build a giant dome and then basically they they tell their parents they have powers and then Pedro basically comes out and says that he's gay, which they kind of hinted in the first movie. If you haven't seen the first one, they um they land into a strip club and then basically Pedro says not my thing. So it's, it's kind of hinting that he was gay. And so um um, so they tell the parents you have this emotional moment between Billy and um, so Martha Millens and then Cooper Andrews. They both come back um, from the first movie. Um, and so, yeah, I like how they gave them more to do in this one than the first one. Um, so, Homer and dies. Um, Lucy Lou's character basically stabs her and then she dies. Um, Shazam kind of brings her back shortly and then goes to go and Thea and then she basically brings a, bra a dragon to life and then so that she plants the apple they had an apple in the rock return she plants the apple and then there's this big tree that's basically there's all kind of monsters that are coming out of the tree and then the wizards are the only ones to get rid of them if they get some is if these unicorns and I like how Dala has um she basically has a, a bunch of skills and then she throws them and she's like taste the rainbow which is basically a slogan of Skittles which I actually like that scene I thought it was funny but um yeah after that um after that you have Shazam who's fighting um Kalisa um Callisto and then um uh basically he sacrifices himself um he sacrifices himself and then basically Kalisto dies and then um and then Helen Mirren dies as well. Um so basically that's it. He sacrifices himself and then um then they pretty much um then they're pretty much grieving him, then they build him, then they go to the um kingdom and Thea's one kingdom and then they bury him and then that's pretty much it and then Wonder Woman shows up, which um, there was a running gag. Uh, she was on a date with Wonder Woman, which it, in, in, in that scene, in the beginning, it wasn't Gal Gadot, it was a body double. We only see her from the back. And then, and then Gal Gadot shows up. Now, lots of Snyder fans, people were complaining a bit like, oh, Wonder Woman's not in this movie. They're going to cover her face. And then, yeah, they show, they're revealing the TV spot. And they said, why'd they spoil it? Because they freaking, they kept saying they were going to cover her face. And they say Gal is in the movie. Um, I've, I've said this for a year. I knew Gal was in the movie. They said she was in this movie. And people kept saying, oh, it wasn't going to be Gal Gadot. They were going to do the same thing that they did with um, Henry Cowell in the first one. And, yeah, so Gal Gadot shows up. Now, there was this rumor going around that um, Batman and Superman were supposed to be in this movie. And I'm glad they won because I feel like if they were in there, they would have taken the focus away from Shazam. And um, Wonder Woman made sense because Wonder Woman's father is Zeus. So it makes sense why she's there and not Superman and Batman. Which um I don't know if that was gonna be with Henry Cowell. It, I think it was gonna be Henry Cowell and Ben Affleck, but I don't think they even filmed anything. So that was just a, a that was just a draft that got scrapped. And also the JSA were gonna be in this movie and they didn't. I think the reason why they didn't is because the Rock Rock just did not want them to use the JSA. Anyway, um, uh, anyway, um, so she comes, she goes, she uses the staff to resurrect Billy with her powers, and she does, and then basically she wants to go on a date with Wonder Woman, they basically flirts, and then, um, yeah, so that's it, so then they all live in the house with Athena, because uh, the house got destroyed, and then they're rebuilding the house, and then they again knock at the door, and then it's the wizard who basically has new clothes, and then he goes to collect the staff, and then basically Billy says, what is his name? Superhero name means that he says it's Shazam. And then that's it, then it cuts. Now there's two post credit scenes. Now the first one was, um, you see Amelia Harcourt, Jennifer Holland, Steve McGee, as Amelia Harcourt and then John Eponymous. Um, they're going to recruit Shazam by saying he's part of the JSA. Um, Shazam is confused because he doesn't know who the Justice JSA are. Um, he's he wanted to be with the team with Wonder Woman, which the Justice League, which is clearly not the Justice League. And then he comes up with names for the Justice Society, and then he names the Authority, and he names the Avengers. And then Emilio Harcourt leaves. Economist says he's going to stay, and then basically Shazam annoys him, so then he leaves. That was the first Paris crisis. And then the second one, um, you have Doctor Zavanna, who's still in prison. He's trying to find a way to get back to the Rock of Eternity. And then Mister Mind comes back, and he said. 
and um, Doctor Savannah says it's been two years, and then uh, you can see he has a beard. He has a beard throughout those two years, and basically he's trying to set organize a plan and stuff. And he said he forgot, and then Mister Mind said he forgot something, so he goes there, and then yeah. So um, so I think this is clearly going to sh set up Shazam three, but I don't even know. Um, I would want a Shazam three. I I just don't think it will happen. Um. So let me quickly go into cast because I forgot to talk about them. So let's 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 get quickly into the cast. So we have Zachary Levi who was good, Usher Angel was good, Jack Dylan Grazer was good, Rachel Zegler, Adam Brody, Rose Butler, Megan Good, Lucy Lou, and Jim and and Helen Mary. And also the person who plays um and then you have DJ Katrina, um Ros Butler and uh, Megan Good. And then also Ian Chen, who plays Eugene, he's grown because when I first saw the movie, I thought he was grown. I thought he was a different actor. But I'm like, oh, he's the same actor. But and I was like, he's grown. But I realized it's been a big, it's been a big gap since the first one. I think the first one was filmed, I think, two thousand eighteen, and this one was filmed, I think, twenty twenty one. I think. So yeah, he's grown between them, and yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was a different actor, but I was like, oh, it's the same actor. And so yeah. Um, um, so you get some, you get some cameos. You get um, um, you get um, Nally Safran um, cameos as a cab driver with kittens. Michael Gray, who portrayed Billy Batson, he makes a quick cameo. Um, he he has the red and yellow shirt, and he basically calls him Captain Marvel. Which, if you've read the comics, you know, um, his name is Captain Marvel in the comics, and changed it to um, B.J. Byron. He appears as a ped pediatrician. Rizwan Manji. Um, he plays a new character. Um, he was in Peacemaker. Um, he played the janitor. He played the character. He played Jamil in um, Peacemaker. He plays a different character here. It's not the same character. Uh, he dies in the beginning. Um, also, um, I thought the cast was great. Um, I I, I kind of prefer this to the first one. I rather want, mind you, I watched the first one. Lost was it two, Thursday? I watched their preparation for Through the Gods. And I kind of prefer this one. Now, I will be doing a ranking soon on my DCU. I will be doing a ranking soon. And I will be doing an MCU one soon. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, um, also, um, that's pretty much what I have to say. Um, um, now, Shazam 3. I would want them to do Shazam 3, but I don't think they will now because of the James Gunn has his own plans. But... I don't know if Shazam, I don't know who will get carry over. I think the only people that are going to carry over is the Suicide Squad people, uh, the Peacemaker, um, Amanda Waller, and I think Margot Robbie. I think they I th Shazam maybe. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I'm i guessing, I think Blue Beetle might um, carry over, but because I think because he's new, and I think because um, Blue Beetle isn't tied to the wider DCEU, so I think it makes sense, but. Um, yeah, so we've got three more movies. We've got Flash, Blue Beetle, and Aquaman Lost Kingdom. That's it with the DC Extended Universe. And then so it's done. And then we're in the DC Universe, which will start in 2025 with Superman Legacy. And yeah, um, yeah, I'll give this movie a 8 out of 10. It surprised me. I might watch it again on Thursday. Um, I want to watch this movie as much as I get because I, I, don't, I don't want it to bomb. I want them to do at least a Shazam. I think peace, he might show up in Peacemaker season two. I want it to do well, so at least we get a Shazam three, because I want to see Doctor Savannah and Mister Mind, and I want to see the Monster Society of Evil, and I also want to see um the fight between Black Adam and um Shazam. And that's pretty much all I have to say. That is um Shazam three of the gods. Um, this twelfth movie in the DC extended universe. Um, I will be doing more of these. Um, um, tune in for. Um, I, for this Sunday, this Sunday, I'll be doing John Wick chapter four. I'll be doing a live discussion on that. I'll be doing my review over on sound down reviews. I'll be doing that on, um, I'll be doing that Saturday and then my live discussion will be on, um, Sunday. So you can tune in for that on this channel. And then also on this channel, I will be doing, um, um, I will be doing next week. I will be doing Dungeons and Dragons. And then a the week after that, I will be doing the Super Mario Brothers movie. And I'm really looking forward to my brother's movie. I think Dungeons and Dragons might be good. So, yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm really excited for John Wick Chapter 4. I love the other three. And, yeah, so this is I'm giving 8 out of 10. You should watch it. Please watch this movie. Um, lots of people don't want to watch it because it's not connected to anything, dude. It's just 
Like they don't have to connect to each other. Just watch a movie, have a great time with it. And if you want more, if you want more Shazam, I, I, I go watch this movie. Like don't sleep on it. Go watch this movie. So guys, so much for my videos. My next thing, bye.